you guys stuck around since the beginning, then you guys have watched me grow from young little Alex to now a little bit older version of Alex. We'll say version 2.0. You guys may know me from my high school day videos to stepping my cobra and spinning flames. You know, all fun stuff a 17 year old kid would do with a badass car like a Terminator Cobra. But some of the things that you guys don't know is that I lost someone that was very important to me back in 2015. And without him, my interest of cars would have never sparked. So here I am to tell you the story. In 2015, I lost my uncle. But ever since that day, I felt like I lost a part of me. But I knew that through cars, that's what made me happy and that's what made my uncle happy. And that's what created Alex SVT. So with that, we created the infamous Alex SVT intro. But before all of this, how did I become Alex SVT? And it really just started with having a vision and goal to begin with and following through with it as much as I could. But ever since that day, I knew that my goal was to be able to film content for YouTube and maybe someday call myself a YouTuber. And I remember how badass it was to see other YouTubers making money and I hope that someday I could get there. One day I was in middle school and I was running for the track team and I remember seeing my dad walk towards me and I was really confused, didn't know what was going on. Um, but he pulled me out and we got driven home. And that was the day that totally changed my life forever and paved the path to where I am today. As time went on, my dad and I would head to car meets. All I could think about was the day that I could take my car to a car meet. guys can see we got the cobra a uh, silver metallic it has an intake pulley and two and exhaust at the time i was a very shy and timid 16 year old kid and every single day i always manifested it i always thought about it the day that i was able to make content film my edits live life and of course create a voice on the youtube platform you already know I've been feeling like I've been feeling like I've been feeling like I'm ready one day I decided to put a GoPro on my car and drive to McLaren that had pulled up to my high school one of the most simplest videos I made had blown up I couldn't believe my eyes at first I felt like I had just hit the lottery and Every day in the month of December, I kept updating the video and I could see the views going up by 100,000 views every time. But as all this stuff happened, I really started to look back and reflect on the times when I was in middle school, in class, dreaming about this day and manifesting it in my head all the time, running it through my mind how it was going to happen, but I just knew someday it was going to happen. Now, some may say I was lucky and some may say it was well-deserved. But I believe that everything happens for a reason, whether you think it is good or bad, it is up to you what you want to do with that. And this is what I wanted people to see from the very beginning, that if you put your mind to it and you stick with it, things will change. And I know so many people tell you that, follow your dreams, do what you want to do, stick with it. But I'll be the first to say that once you experience something like that, it's a feeling you'll never forget. I remember seeing my first check from YouTube. I was like in shock. It was the most money I'd made ever in one month. I decided to stop working at the car wash as YouTube was doing great. It's what I wanted to do. All I would do was reinvest into the car and keep on making content. As that could only take me so far, 
since all this stuff happened, my idea of success was having a cool, fast-ass car that would capture people's eyes and let people see my dream as I was living it. I thought that having this fast Cobra was going to be my idea of success when really it was to show that your goals and visions can be accomplished as long as you put your mind to it and stick with it because that's what I did. So then after that, we decided to get another car added onto the channel, which was my 2015 5.0 Mustang, a new chapter and era that was a duo I always wanted to have, something a little older and something a little more modern. It was amazing. Not only had I achieved my goal of my Cobra, but starting a new journey with my 5.0, only to find out that my flag was on backwards. My most viral video this is all stuff that was my idea of success and it made me feel good. It was great and I was getting recognized. So as life went on, I was always hoping for my next viral video, waiting for that next big payout because it was life changing when stuff like that happened. And YouTube did it for me once. Now why can't it do it, it again for me? The cars, the racing, going fast and making money at the same time. My goal of having a fast Cobra was getting closer and closer so that day came in october of 2020 i picked up my whipple supercharger for my terminator cobra the one that started it off and my dream was to have a terminator cobra with a whipple supercharger i gathered all the mods for the car and we were pretty much ready to rock and roll so in the month of november we got the supercharger on and fuel system ready to go ready to go fast in the month of december we talked to speedline motorsports as i wanted the car to be tuned by him that's what we did and we went to get the cobra tuned and it made 800 wheel when we turned it up but that didn't last long and the motor messed up and i didn't think it would lead me here to this video shortly after the cobra's motor had messed up within about less than three weeks of driving the car and i was pretty heartbroken i didn't know where i was gonna go but i decided that it's worth a shot at fixing so i decided to take the time to move on from the 5.0 and take some of that cash and put it as an investment towards my cobra terminator but here we are a year later i have not had a main car featured for the channel and i decided that it's been way too long without Alex SVT having a car. So with that being said, I think it's time to start a new chapter and I hope you guys stick around to see it. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new, subscribe and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.